hit his helmet and they're just uh, this is hitting fair on the side of the helmet in a normal stance well oh boy and back onto the stumps the question is the height and this is all you can consider it's gone above shoulder height and hit him about the ear and he's going out of Ferrari. He's on his way they've had their chat the umpires and they've decided now that's gone back onto the stumps it's ripped the strap open broken the Hit him on the back of the helmet, he's down. Chandapol is floored. Cracked him right on the back of the helmet. Lee's down there, the first man. Might just be unconscious here. Cracked on the back of the helmet, he went down. <sighs> down right away. Yeah, I reckon he was out. Just about as it hit him. Hit him on the back of the head, and I reckon he's out there. Where am I? What's the score? More importantly, how many, how many am I? He's 86 now. Oh, it's pinned him. That's going to hurt. Hit him on the head. Just as well he had a helmet, the bowler. As the batsman, Stark is a tall fellow. And... Uh, Sadik just took his eyes off the ball. He's trying to duck that, just hoping that won't hit him. He's always in the line. Oh, crikey. He's really being tested out here. Really being tested out here. What has that come off? Everybody's walking around on it. It's just as well this lad was wear a helmet. Where's this come from? Yeah. It sounds like glove, helmet. But it doesn't stop him advancing down the wicket. It's the helmet. Gap, I think. There's a gap there so the batsman can uh, see the ball. Sometimes because they're wearing helmets, they don't uh, keep their eye on the ball so that they can duck properly. Seem to be going back. That probably the, the angle then of the helmet gave it the opportunity to get through the gap. Immediately, the guy at first slipped, Rahul Dravid, uh, he knew that there was trouble straight away. He was immediately caught. Here's the last of which was the one that... Uh, what about uh, his... Oh, got him, a nasty one, ducked into it. That is a shake-up one. That would have hurt. The fouls will be ringing. Thank goodness for the modern helmet. He's not feeling all that well. Hit the side of the head. Maybe at the juncture between the helmet and the visor. Did it actually hit the skin? Ball could have forced part of it, part of its way through there. Won't that be huge if we could get that on super slow mo extreme? That will be ugly. For 62, the West Indies have got, I think, 62 runs. It's been a bonus. We shouldn't waste this good work that's been done. We're already at 62 after 12 overs. Even if New Zealand had batted better and shown better process and better technique on that first day, there probably still would have been a result in that game. It might have taken four and a half days. Oh! It's hit him. Oh! It's down. Hopefully all right. Didn't quite bounce. It's got him in the side of the helmet. I think it's knocked him around a little bit. Yeah, he's got to take a moment or two here. In fact, they might take an early tee here. They might just take an early tee, and I think they've got reason to do that. That was nasty. That was really nasty, and I'll tell you that on his head back of his head and so that to me you know you, it, it flies if it glances backwards it means it doesn't get the full impact but there right there gets the full impact and it flew it absolutely flew for a long way yeah and he doesn't he doesn't have that back of the helmet there that that black padding that the new helmet well, it only says 84 miles an hour, but it was quick enough for Barker.
Well, he's worn one there, Keith Barker. Alfonso Thomas immediately just saying to him, you're OK, he's hitting straight on the grill. He's took one there, full on. Oh, he's got lucky there. Just look at this, it goes so close to the gap between the visor and there. Jeez. So easily could have crept through and he knows it. A few times? Or? Well, we, I played without helmets for a long time and then I must have had a couple, yeah. I've got one without helmet. Bob Cotton straight in the face. Woke up next week. And, uh, Jackie Hendricks got a dreadful blow. I, I really thought he was dead. Uh, I saw his legs kick and his arms fly around the air. It was a dreadful sight. One international to break. And uh, he bowled a four over spell initially. He's around the wicket now, which he loves doing to left handers. Oh, goodness me. That is a nasty one. Wow, that is hitting. That is uh, very, very nice to do. Chop up those down there. Very